Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, we didn't really do a battle. I mostly just took care of some, uh, <clears throat> some map stuff. So, uh, we're gonna try and do a battle today. I don't know which one I'm gonna go for. Possibly the Tormented Helm. Just because it is level 14. Uh, this Liberation Battle was level 16. Okay, that is better. I was, I was kind of worried since I could have, you know, went here the same time I went here. You know, it was going to be like level 10 stuff. So maybe it does scale slightly, or that's just a higher level liberation battle. But uh, first things first, let's go ahead and do this between Clive and Renault. They have been hanging out a lot. It's a great honor to take arms with you once more, sir Renault. Indeed it is, and the innocent boy I once knew has now grown into a gallant young man. It was either that or perish in despair. I've witnessed great horrors these last few ten years, sir. Mountains of bodies reaching nigh to the heavens themselves. At times I've wondered, what, what right have I to survive amidst so many dead? Thought alone has nearly consumed me whole. I understand your pain, Clive. In the past, I myself have fallen prey to that very line of thinking. Yet before me stands a man of great virtue, a knight bold and courageous in the defense of his people. Is the least I can offer the memory of the fallen? Is that not what drives you as well, Sir Renault? Redemption for those you failed to save. Quite right, though I owe my awareness of that entirely to you. I appreciate you saying as much. By the by, I found it rather emotional tasting your cooking again after all these years. Flavor alone calls to mind memories of our training together and the stern warmth of your careful instruction. It is a joy I've truthfully not felt in years. Thank you, sir. Both for then and for now. It's peculiar. I had once thought to abandon this march, should my presence ever prove too great a burden. Yet now I seem to bear the opposite effect entirely. I'll not complain, though. No, I shall meet this newfound esteem with conviction and pride of my own. And I shall see you never feel troubled again. So, Renault likes to cook, does he? Does he? Uh, where are you at, Renault? Where'd I put you? Pretty sure it's somewhere here in Drakenhold. Uh, hmm, Soldraga. No? Where did I put Renault? You're somewhere around here. There you are. Oh no, I put you over here. I know I put you in one of the, like, later towns that I ran into. Hey! How you doing? Uh... Would you like some rock salt? Oh, you said you liked cooking, though. Not for such finery to me. I'm grateful in the utmost. Uh... <clears throat> Who enjoys cooking? So may maybe that's not what you want. Do I have any other, like, good... Cooking things? Cutting board? Who enjoys preparing food? Maybe... Maybe that instead? It said, yeah, I mean, enjoys cooking, so I really thought it was going to be the salt. But evidently not. Preparing food. That's a little bit better, so maybe it's preparing food that you like. Yeah, okay. Um, I also noticed that we have wine, and I happen to know someone that enjoys a good drink. Hey, Morden. Here you go. Oh, this is something special. Try not to down it in one gulp. There you go. Enjoy. So, I guess preparing food for Renault rather than just someone who likes cooking? Maybe the, like, little generic things you can buy from the shop just give less than some of the more special things. I'm not sure. But, uh, we haven't done this in a while either. <clears throat> so I think I will go do it. We'll go to the tavern. A shot of honey apples. Thanks you again for buying them up. Uh, okay. So... Is there anyone interesting to hire here? They're only level 3, so no. Uh... I could promote someone. I know I mentioned last time promoting an archer. I do think I want to. 
Guardian is such a weird growth type for you to have. I gotta say. I gotta say. I have keen and offensive on these. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll go with Rolf. Guardian's a weird growth type, though. I do like my named characters. There you go. Keep getting sharper. Beautiful. Cool. Uh, I can actually do one more. Uh, you know Chloe. I'm kind of down for Chloe getting an upgrade. It seems like a pretty cheap one too. Only twenty-five. We'll save the rest of my honors. Take notes, Lex. Yeah, Lex. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, we are good. I imagine once I get my Renown to A rank is probably when I get the ability to, uh, increase the size of my squads again, so... I will need to save up money for that. I don't think I can do it yet. Let me just check <coughs> while I'm thinking about it. No, go away. I don't want to talk to any of you. Uh, so... What am I- what am I trying to- enlistment, yeah. Promotes, or no, 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 uh, expand units, so... Yeah, maximum of renown A or above, okay, cool. Just wanted to be sure I wasn't... Good seeing you, friend. ...missing that. I'll take your order anytime. All right, uh... Honey apple tart... tart... It's only two characters, though. Rapport overview, let's see, who do I want? To hang out together. Who's Morden like? Uh. Wow, some of these characters have a ton. Oh my god! Yeah, they have so many. Uh. Yana. Hmm. Bruno and Travis. Let's have Bruno and Travis hang out. There you go, you two. Yeah, I'll use my free meal ticket. They don't get to be in a squad together much because they're both tanks, so... Would you Beautiful. Look at that? Damn, that's good! Hey, try some of this. Bruno's very happy. I haven't had food this good in years. 110, there you go. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty cheap, in all honesty. I could just use this to, like, spam this when I have enough money to just kind of max out a lot of the characters here. Let's do Travis. Uh... Imagine you can... eat with Berengaria, right? Travis Rapport. Not Berengaria? Berenice? Yeah, oh, yeah, there you are. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, Travis... Uh... Let's do... Berengaria, where's, uh, where's my girl? Um, you're somewhere around here. I'm just scrolling right past you. There you are, Berenice. And who's the final one for Travis that I would want to put in here? Morden, maybe? Yeah, let's, let's do Morden. Yeah, we'll use our fuel meal ticket. It. There you go. Eat up, squad. Amazing. Mm. Hey, try some of this. Mind bringing me back sometime? There we go. Three rapport level ups. Don't be a str Looks good to me. So yeah, that might be something I do kind of off screen at some point. Just kind of spam some of those, just to get a bunch of characters like little conversation going. Alright, this is the last thing we'll do, and then I'll do, do a battle, I promise. Morden and Berenice. Long time no see, Morden. Sure is. Starting to wonder if you'd gone and gotten yourself killed. Yeah, like that would happen. Never thought I'd find you with the liberation, though. And working for free, no less. Could say the same thing about you. Not exactly what I'd call a righteous war kind of girl, after all. Didn't used to be. Not until I met Elaine. There's something different about him. Real fire in his eyes. Sounded to me like you've fallen for the kid. 
Maybe I have. Ah, next, time, next you'll tell me you saw a swine uh, sprout wings and fly off into the sunset. Hilarious, Morden. Really, though, it's been years since I've actually enjoyed fighting like this. Years since I found someone strong enough to keep up with me. Huh. Well, I'm happy to hear it. But you're wrong about me working for free. If that kid's sitting on the throne, he's gonna pay me back for everything he's done. Just you wait. I'll be sleeping on a bed of solid gold, holding tight to the finest mead this land's ever seen. That's more like the more than I know. Well, look at that. Okay. Yeah, God, I imagine if you want to see all of those... You gotta really, really get the work in that tavern. Like I said, there's not really much to it. It's not like you get unique cutscenes from the tavern itself. So it is something I could do off-screen, just to kind of, you know, buff my relationships a lot. So it could be worth it. Alright, let's go over here to the Tormented Helm. How you doing? These lands have been suffering from the plague for years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The plague. So we got introduced to this last time. <coughs> oh god, random cough. I am a lot better now, luckily. It's just this thing apparently has a long tail. But uh, I feel very, very good now. Lord Gislaine, sir. Another village has succumbed. Then you know what must be done. Gather them into the holding pens, the fit and the infirm alike. Both will be of use to us. Is that wise in this downpour, sir? Some of the inhabitants have grown quite frail. The march of progress ever demands new feet to walk it. Ugh. There can be no tests without subjects, and those unwilling to sacrifice will never know the sublime beauty of discovery. I assure you, I wouldn't complain were a few pitiful souls to perish in transit either. Interesting, you're appearing in a little side quest here. Come to glean more corpses, have you? Take what you will. We've enough rotting flesh to satisfy even your ravenous want for death. Though, not for long, perhaps. This may be the final slew I'm able to offer. And the experiments are proving successful. That's not for you to know. Now, have you come to collect? Or do you simply wish to interrogate us instead? <laughs> Neither. Those who defy Zenoira's rule draw close to your lands. His Majesty would see them tossed like all the rest upon your mountains of carrion. The rebels? Here? No. I've come too far to let my work fall unfinished. You've little need to worry. My men are yours to command in the battle ahead. A welcome gift, and one I'll gladly accept. Tatiana, stay here and ensure the experiments continue as scheduled. Yes, my lord. Guards, rally the defenses. We depart anon. <sighs> Gislaine has completed the cure, has he? It was only a matter of time, but with all the vital support I've thrown at his back. Your hubris knows no bounds, wretch. One as revolting as you is unfit to stand in the company of Lord Gislaine. Only by his word have I let your presence go unimpeded. Now go. Gather the dead and be quit of this manner before you drain my patience any further. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want his creep ass in my house either. So that's fair. Our aim in this battle lies in defeating Gislaine. Uh, Gislaine. I, I wanted to pronounce it as Gislaine, but it's Gislaine? The Lord of the Region. And while their force primarily consists of cavalry units, they appear to bear magic wielders as well. Take caution, my prince. Okay. It's a welcome addition, having Sir Baltro's men amongst our ranks. I can ill afford a prolonged struggle. But seem I must take the field myself. Tatiana should be more than capable of guarding the town in my absence. My rebels, and any rebels we're able to capture, will serve as fine specimens for our noble research. Okay, pretty small battlefield. So I don't think this is going to be too bad. We do have a watchtower. We have you. 
Yeah, a fair few archers, but I think my cavalry is going to kind of be able to just run over this pretty easily here. Let me just look at everybody just to make sure everything's set up how I want. Alrighty, I have created some squads. I mostly just wanted to use some characters I haven't really had the opportunity to use yet. I'm not going to use my OP cavalry unit because they're already level 20. So uh, I threw in Miriam because we're fighting some mages, Rolf, uh, Selvi, and Berenice. Basically just put, you know, some better equipment on them. Uh, Miriam has the bangle, you have the warrior's medallion, lucky coin. Berenice has a warrior's medallion and a brown beret. Didn't really change anything on Selvi, so you're going to be one of the people handling things. Um, I then have Hilda's unit here. Um, I was going to use my griffins, but they're also like level 19. So, uh, didn't really change too much about this squad either. They're, you know, I pretty much just gave them things that increased their stats that they would want to increase. This squad is going to go kill the archers. Uh, ooh, I actually didn't mean for Rolf to be the leader here. Because you're going to be incredibly, incredibly slow. <coughs> um, let's actually withdraw you. Uh, so you get back in there, just want to redeploy you with, uh, yeah, you as the leader. That is my bad. Okay, so you can go out, take them down, and then the final squad that I made was, uh, Elaine's group here. So, uh, I put in... Berengaria, because she's only level 14. I gave her these items. I upgraded her axe to the Carnet Axe. Uh, didn't really do much with her abilities. Elena's absolutely the same. Ocleese, I gave the Silken Scarf and Gauntlets, because she's pretty guard heavy and evasion heavy, because she's a flyer. Didn't change anything else about her equipment. I set Spiral Sword to only activate when there's flying enemies present. Because those are the ones that are mostly evasive. So, um... Actually, should probably t tell this to target only flying. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this will only activate if uh, flyers are there. Otherwise, you use shield smite, which lowers an enemy defense, and I have you set to target the tanks with that. Um, so not really sure if that's the best for you, but then I put in Rosalind, Rosalinde, or I forget how they. I would read that as Rosalind, but I'm pretty sure they said, like, Rosalinde or something like that. Um, so this character is interesting. It's like a mixed magic and physical attacker. Uh, you have Freezing Thrust, which attack a single enemy, inflict freeze, 25 potency if the user has summoned fairies. Uh, I gave you some magic increasing things, and the Silver Bangle. Uh, this, attack a single enemy if the user is at 100% HP, grants the user one passive point and one summon fairies. I have that set to only activate if your own HP is at 100%. Otherwise, use Freezing Thrust on the target with the highest physical defense, because I usually find, like, CCing the tanks is good if you do it early, because then they can't guard for everybody else. And, yeah, you have a uh, heal that restores minor HP and removes uh, debuffs from an ally. So, those are the squads I'm currently running. Uh, we will... Do our best, and see what we can get done here. Should be a pretty quick fight, I think. Oh, I didn't even see you. Yeah. That's annoying, but, uh, you're nearly going to die? Apparently you live with, like, yes, one HP. Wow, thank you, perfect. Uh, so just take out the archers now. Got my item. Wow, they reach all the way over there, huh? I was kind of hoping we would just be able to run right to the uh, archer, but clearly uh, not going to be that easy. I shall not shy from they tank the attack a little bit better, though, because of uh, Miriam, so we'll let them fight instead of Elaine's group. I'll need to study this further. Good job, Selvi. All right. Please just... <coughs> oh my god. I haven't been coughing all day, and then as soon as I start recording, it's like, oh, you're gonna cough. Probably because I'm talking more, but I was talking a lot earlier. 
whatever. It's fine. So, take them out. Don't really have to worry about too much on this level. There's always more to learn. That there is, that there is. Alright, so you go over there, get the item. Elaine, you go down here and start taking them out. I ideally want you to avoid the, the woods, though. So do that. Okay. Now the archers are dead. Good stuff. Thank you. And you kill that. Stuff. Can't believe I had to waste of stamina on that. You have one HP. Okay, and they're going in the forest here. Okay, hi. Bye bye. If you think you're good enough, which you were not. Good job, squad. All right. So we got the item. Uh, that group's just gonna run at them. We can just go ahead, go over here, and win. The path is set. So. If you want me, then have me. Good, good. Fools came at me. <laughs> I think I've gotten a little better at this. Good job, Prim. Uh, all right. So. The time is at hand. Just to make things a little bit easier on you. Ooh, distance swap. Swap the positions of the user's unit and allied unit. Ooh, that's really good. Ooh, and instantly in the wait time of all allied units in range. This class is pretty fun. That's neat. That's neat. Uh, okay. Increased damage dealt by 20%. Reduced damage dealt. Are you taken? Could use the royal order as well. I could actually do it twice. Valorous Order would just mean I win, though. Let's do one of those. Excellent. I don't, like, completely kill them, of course, but I fare a little bit better. Alright. Go get him, Elaine. You face me. Yep. I'll brook no interference, rebel curs. Let's have some fun. Yeah, you like that? You scared, Varangaria. Erangaria is very scary. Bang. No AP for you. There you are. I have it set to target the the character with the highest magic and physical defense, so that's why it actually hit the mage there. Oh my god, 39. Jeez. It's the magic. I suppose. It is a magic attack. Good dodge. That must have hurt. There you go. Yeah, you seem like a great class. You tried. Okay, well you managed to hit with one of them. God, that is so good. And it gets rid of debuffs too? There's the Cavalry Slayer. There we are. It's about to be an option, don't you worry. There's the stun. 45, god yeah, that class is good. Being able to do both types of damage, basically. Very, very strong. Okay. Well, we've won. Goodbye just you left, friend. At least try. There are a lot of really, really neat classes in this game, and we haven't even seen them all yet. Not bad. How much can you guard? Not enough. Bye-bye. Yeah, Death said you're not getting away from me. Not even surprised. Cool, cool. A fine bout. Angel Hunter's Buckler. 
Block an enemy attack with a medium guard. Becomes a heavy guard, grants the user plus one PP if the enemy is flying. That's cool. It doesn't technically have to be an angel. It can't just be any flying unit. That is very good for dealing with flyers. I presume you're the ghastly lord responsible for this plague and its death-strewn offensive. You would accuse me of diffusing such evil through my own lands? Me, who at last stands on the precipice of seeing it eradicated once and for all? <laughs> A shame. I'd hoped to welcome the occasion myself one day. But I suppose that honor falls to Tatiana now. At long last, my love, I come to join you once more. Another corpse for the pile. Huh? Okay, here's Shithead. What? A fortuitous thing, Van. With his cure made manifest, all my hard work spreading this pestilence would be for naught. <laughs> Thank you! Uh... That was the trick. We were told it was Gislin that was doing it. But, uh... It was actually Baltro doing it. Or Jislin fallen in battle? No, I refuse to believe it. So this is a two-part fight. Interesting. Because I was about to say, that one seemed very short. Okay. I mean, it didn't continue until that point, right? It did stop, like, right there. I thought it did. Well, we definitely want to go get those ruins. Okay. There's a ballista over there. As well. Allow that me. we definitely, definitely need to watch out for. It shall be done. Okay. You and you... It skip down there done. as quickly as possible, please. For the liberation. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Alright, so... I can deploy another unit now. Mm. Alvin's unit wasn't so slow. I mean, I'll, I'll put him down. They're kind of slow to get in there, though. It's gonna take them... <coughs> absolute ages. Yep. And they're trying to get to that, uh, Ballista, so... Your Still orders? after you. Heavy swing. I could provoke the enemy into me. Uh... Gotta make sure I know where they're at. There they are, yeah. I can see them. They're like basically right on top of my I rise cursor, to so this should still work. No target. Oh, we can't just use it. You won't let me do that? Okay. Your orders. Well, Very well. get to get to the facility. Uh Elaine, you don't really need to heal or anything. Face your demise! Bye bye. And I can just let them rest now, I think. I would appreciate a rest. Yeah, you, rest you can you can have your rest. Your I mean, if I wanted to... That item's really good. I don't want to waste it if I don't need to. Uh, okay. Get in here, please. Thank you. Alright. So... Kill that, please. Ow. We took the hit, and we healed a lot. There we go. Good job, Albin. We even get some XP on uh, those three. Good stuff. Get in there and fire. You get in there and take out the mages. Deploy the reinforcements at once. These rebels shall never extract our research. Oh, that's annoying. Uh... Ready to move. Be a fantastic time to have a catapult. Uh hmm. we march. Hmm. That's just a single enemy unit though. I shall not disappoint. And then this squad, error rain two. 
or summon archers. Hmm. I think an arrow rain. It'll hurt basically all of them. And it's not going to do a ton of damage in mind, but it'll help. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so do you already have a target? Good. Got more for me. Uh let's take them out. Pretty tough, there huh? we go. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and wear them out this way. And this is also why I had Miriam running first, because these that's a lot of mages, which means a lot of assist attacks. So uh Yeah, kinda needed. Hmm. I could just summon some of these, like right here. Get in there, warriors. Oh, and the next one too. Uh, hoplites. To take a break. Would not. We're not the best choice, but it's fine. I should have I used the uh, the archers, but the winds of fate we're good. All right. That's pretty much done. Have you need of me? <laughs> Uh, this squad wins. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of... wait a second. Just before we do that, I would like you to go ahead and cap this. And then there's no items or anything I'm missing, right? Looks like we've gotten all the items. I did cap that. So, yeah, we really just need to get the ruins. So let's let that happen really quickly, then I'll come in there and murder you. What do you need? Uh, really too much for you to do. What would you ask of me? I can uh summon some archers right here in just a moment. They should just stand there, in my experience. Yeah, see, they they just follow you basically, which is exactly what I want them to do. So yeah, they just they just follow you, and all's fine. Lord Chislin is slain at your hand. The man who gave me a home when none other would. Prepared to pay for taking him from me. I'm pretty that is how they pronounced it, right? It was it was Jislin? Gosh. Your name straight up has Jizz in it. It's unfortunate. Alright. Range the cyst. Yeah. Let me help you. I gotcha. Doesn't actually <coughs> help. So, uh, cool. That looks good to me. We will go ahead and show the fight. I'll preserve this place and our research with my very life. Give in! Yeah, you heard them. Give in. Don't let it happen again. Okay, refresh. Kind of annoying, but... Chop. I mean, that's a lot of pocket healers. For two pocket healers for one gladiator. And I mean, I'm gonna be hitting like that, so... Yeah. That dual shot is fun. God, Berenice, you're so cool. Berenice is so cool. No crits for you! Cute. Yeah, that's what happens. Alright. I hope you have something more than heals. Well, you don't have any points left, so... Yeah, this is not going to be working out in your favor. That burn is painful, though. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's a uh, really, really cool item I got. I need to show, uh, show off. I'll show it off in a quick second here. Lifeblood Staff. I already have one of those, don't I? Oh wait, there was an item! It was right there! Damn it! <laughs> I looked right past it. <laughs> it was right there. I could have sworn because the whole reason I looked was because I was like, I was pretty sure there was another item for me to grab. But no, totally missed that one. It's probably not anything important anyway. It's probably like, you know... Luckily, we can't get, like, equipment or anything from this. 
from like from like picking up stuff like that in battle. I don't think. Oh, Gislaine. How could you take him from me? Okay, it's not Gislaine, it's Gislaine. Yeah. Um Yeah, it was probably like, you know, probably one of those items I never use, like a mantlet kit or a barricade kit. What have you found? Horrors taking form, my prince. The jail is rife with corpses of the townsfolk in every which corner. Likely victims of the plague. Tell our men to stay well clear of its walls. But of course. Rumors speak of your lord using his own people for dark experiments into the plague that sweeps this land. What say you? That you're a band of benighted fools if you believe such tripe. Come on, Elaine. There's only one way to find out what he was up to. We've got to search the manor. You won't disturb Lord Gislaine's research. Not while I still draw breath. Then perhaps you'd be willing to serve as our guide instead. Tell us everything that's transpired here, Tatiana. Please. This manor is where Lord Gislaine conducted his research. Oh my god, you need some sleep, girl. Holy! Look at those bags under your eyes. You know, I was expecting some kind of horrible monster under that mask. Turns out you're just a regular girl. It was years ago that this horrific illness first emerged. Swept through our populace like the fiercest wildfire. Lord Gislaine's wife was among the victims. He was never quite the same after that. I don't think it's like eyeshadow. It does look like you have just bags under your eyes. So intense was his contempt for the plague, he made it his sole mission in life to find the cure. Even if it meant enlisting the services of a monstrous necromancer. And thus, Gislaine victimized his own people for his experiments, then proffered their vacant bodies before this necromancer. You misjudge him. My lord studied every method, every medicine in his quest to rid the world of this plague. Absent a clear answer, he had little choice but to craft hypotheses and pursue them to their natural conclusions. No solution could be discarded without explicit proof of its faults, nor could any be affirmed as truly effective. Such excuses are lost on the dead. Their sacrifices were not in vain. You imply he found a cure? Not completely. The texts he was given were rife with half-truths and outright lies alike. But the seed is there, and it can grow, if you only let me water it. Please, the answer is finally within arm's reach. Hmm. A cure would be most welcome indeed, were this disease to befall our army. Though, should it mean allowing such ignominious research to continue unabated? What say you, my prince? Okay, so it was... Yeah, it was not that you intentionally, like, created the disease. It's Baltro that's spreading the disease. You just want a cure for it, but you turn to Baltro to try and find that cure. And Baltro specifically using you to give him bodies and you were desperate. <sighs> You're very, very close to finding a cure, huh? Hmm. Okay. This is a rough one. Cuz... I mean, people are going to die if they don't do their experiments. I mean, as long as you're not, like... <sighs> You're using test subjects, though? That is rough. That is rough. I imagine if I allow the experiments to continue, Tatiana joins the... joins the squad. I'm imagining. I mean, we could just stop this problem at its source. Which is Bal... uh, Baltro. But, God. Using people as test subjects, but... If more people, if more people are gonna die, I mean, they need, they need people to test it on. I just wish there was a better way for you to go about it. Hmm. 
And yeah, if the disease got into our army, I mean... I don't feel like this is a decision that's actually going to make that much of an impact, if I'm going to be honest. It's probably just going to decide, like, you know, what character I get and things like that. Um... <sighs> the experiments may continue. You have my trust, Tatiana. Take up the duty Ghislaine held so dear and see it through to the very end. <sighs> what about the rumors? Buying into this thing's not gonna reflect on us too good. We meet them head on. As long as the sick are treated with dignity and honor, that tide will turn. Yeah. In the end, these studies are meant to benefit all who call Fevrith home. If he was even half the man you claim, that was Lord Ghislaine's intention from the very beginning. Am I to face no sentence? Our enemy here is Zenoira, not you. I still wish you had went about it a little bit better way, though. Uh, it was kind of fucked what you were doing. You only mean to shackle me in their stead. The liberation exists to grant freedom, not oppress the downtrodden further. In that case, I'd like to exercise my freedom to join you on that journey. What about your cure? To be candid with you, it's almost finished. Enough so that I needn't stay here myself. My men should be more than capable of handling the rest. As for me, I'll take this opportunity to walk beside the man who robbed this world of Lord Ghislaine's grace to see what ideals he chooses to fight and ultimately to die for. And when that moment inevitably arrives, to be the one to sound the death knell myself. Come on, only an idiot would let you very well then. <laughs> Come on, only a dumbass would... Yeah, 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 join up. Should have known that was coming. Yeah, I know, I mean, we've got Jeremy in the squad. Come on. Be warned, you may be awaiting my death a great many years. That, and you'll be expected to earn your keep in the meantime. Welcome to the Liberation, Tatiana. I mean, it's hard to resist the call of new characters because it's interesting. So... I would be lying if I said that didn't spur a little bit of my reasoning there as well. So... Welcome! Get yourself some sleep. You really need it. Black Iron X. Thank you for the renown. Don't forget, Elaine. I'll be watching your every move. O okay. Thanks. Kind of creepy, but all right. If you wanted your if you wanted your Yandere waifu, here you go. A man named Hodrick freed my father just before he was meant to uh, be put into quarantine. He's all better now. We have much uh, and more to Liberation's efforts. Although I guess it's not Yandere, because you're not actually into Elaine, you just want to murder him. Yandere usually comes with like, yes, they're into the person, but also they want to murder them. Or do other things. Tatiana gave us detailed instructions on what remains to be done. We're able to concoct this remedy on our own now, so you can leave matters to us. Sure, Lord Ghislaine was, locked, uh, was locking away his sick folks, but what else could he do, really? You don't isolate a plague, everyone else suffers. Learned that when I was just a child, I did. Quarantine patients are being treated better now, but such things won't bring my brother back. He was the only family I had left. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the other reason, like, as long as they're treating them better than what they were doing before was just super, super awful, but at least they're treating them better and trying to find a cure at this point, which could help a bunch of people. Especially if Baltro decides to use this, this this plague in other places. So, which I wouldn't put past the, the little shit. Alright, here you go. Enjoy your trout. I have way too many of them. Town's grown lively again thanks to you. It's almost enough to forget what happened here. You're welcome. Alright, station of guard. Running out of guards. <laughs> really, really quickly. If it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. Ooh, Valkyrie's partisan. Passive shatter spear? Ooh. Attack a column of enemies with a piercing strike, inflict my PP minus one. 
That is a nice weapon. Give me. Done and done. Uh. As far as these other things go, eh. I'm good. What can we buy from here? Ooh, dice. Who was it like that? Aubin? I think Aubin liked dice. I think I found that out. Let's grab another one of you. Alright. Bye bye. Of course. Rumors claim that nearly every poor soul Lord Gislaine locked away perished under his watch. Not sure what madness he was up to in there, but we're saved now, and it's all thanks to you. Yeah. It was some shit. Hello. Do I need to beat you up? Clerks like me work well with classes that can counterattack. Here, watch how nicely we pair with the gladiator. Yeah, yeah, no, you're pairing very nicely. Thank you for sparring with us, sir. I'll be here anytime you want to try again. By the way, we also go great with shamans who can lower enemy attack power, take advantage of our allies' counterattacks, and reap the benefits. Lord Gislaine was a fine knight and able ruler, learned in manners both military and mundane. Who could drive such a man to experiment upon his own subjects as though they were rats in a cage? Yeah, it would be, like, better if you, like, were looking for willing participants that were... Ba that basically accepted being, you know, used as test subjects for the sake of, you know, finding a cure. But you were just, you know, grabbing people in mass and experimenting on them. I mean, I understand you were desperate to find a cure, but jeez. I used to work for Lord Gislaine myself. You can say whatever you want about him, but at least he paid well. I mean, at least there's that, you know? Uh, level 9. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. If you get... If you get the clerics from here, they come with the mask. That's neat. Actually. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna hire one just for fun. All-rounder? Balance stats? Uh, no. Uh, guard rate? No. How about... Lucky Lucky? Lucky Lucky. What Welcome, Christine. There you go. Yeah, it's neat that they have the mask at this particular location. Because uh, Tatiana doesn't have it, I don't think, right? Where are you at, Tatiana? There you are. Yeah, you took the mask off. But, uh, that unit does. That's- that's neat. Kind of a unique unit in that regard. Foul Plague took my grandson from me. He had his whole life ahead of him, too. Uh, did I check this? Apparently. Our deliberations put an end to our cruel lord. Let's pray the plague, too. Soon forgotten in time. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna need to get rid of Baltra for that. <coughs> so. Countless thanks, Sir Elaine. Your actions here have saved us all. You're welcome. Uh, station guard. Here, you can you can be stationed at your own place. It is still your after. You're in the right place. Rookie and golden eggs. Eh. So expensive, but eh. I don't really need money and stuff that bad. Here to shop? These days. Or maybe to sell. I'm glad Just we got the dice, you though. Thank you there we go. Uh, alright. We're good. I did see a shiny right over here. Ooh, hi. Look like anyone's used this watchtower in quite some time. Some equipment in here, too. Ooh, camping set. Thank you. How nice. And it's a light feather. Okay, cool. Well, uh, with that... I think we've got most of the stuff here because I don't think I can go in there because, like, all of this stuff is crazy high level. Maybe we can get in, like, right here? Possibly? Like, what what level are you? High level. Burglarious domain lies beyond this point. Turn around or die. Stand no chance here at our present strength. I strongly advise against. Yeah, we turn back. Thank you for listening to reason. Okay, so yeah, we, we can't go that way. 
Alrighty, I think we'll leave off right here and I'll check this out next time, so... Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.